I know that virtue to be in you, Brutus. From Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. Act One, Scene Two. This is a LibriVox recording. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Neil Donnelly. I know that virtue to be in you, Brutus, as well as I do know your outward favor. Well, honor is the subject of my story. I cannot tell what you and other men think of this life, but for my single self, I had as lief not be, as live to be in awe of such a thing as I myself. I was born free as Caesar, so were you. We both have fed as well, and we can both endure the winter's cold as well as he. For once upon a raw and gusty day, the troubled Tiber, chafing with her shores, Caesar said to me, Darest thou, Cassius, now leap in with me into this angry flood, and swim to yonder point? Upon the word, accoutred as I was, I plunged in, and bade him follow. So indeed he did. The torrent roared, and we did buffet it with lusty sinews, throwing it aside, and stemming it with hearts of controversy. But ere we could arrive the point proposed, Caesar cried, Help me, Cassius, or I sink. I, as Aeneas, our great ancestor, did from the flames of Troy upon his shoulder the old Anchises bear, so from the waves of Tiber did I the tired Caesar, and this man is now become a god, and Cassius is a wretched creature, and must bend his body if Caesar carelessly but nod on him. He had a fever when he was in Spain, and when the fit was on him I did mark how he did shake. Tis true, this god did shake. His coward lips did from their color fly, and at that same eye whose bend doth all the world did lose his lustre. I did hear him groan, eh, and that tongue of his that bade the Romans mark him and write his speeches in their books. Alas, it cried, give me some drink, Titinius, as a sick girl. Ye gods, it doth amaze me, a man of such a feeble temper should so get the start of the majestic world and bear the palm alone. End of I Know That Virtue To Be In You, Brutus, from Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. Act One, Scene Two. This recording is in the public domain.